Hello everyone, this is Techie T21 here. I'll be showing you how to wire a fire alarm pull station to a notification appliance or a horn strobe, strobe bunny, a horn bunny, doesn't matter. So, I'm using my Kid 278B pull station, uh, dual action pull station. I'm using my ESC G1 RF strobe, mostly candela. So, what you'll need is your fire alarm pull station, your notification appliance, your power supply, the transformer. And it has to be a correct voltage. I'll talk about the voltage a little bit later. So, oh, my wire got a little bit stuck underneath, but yeah. So, how to start with is your power supply. Now, your power supply, I cut the wires out. I split them from the middle. And I figured out what's the positive. So, the positive one, you have to do this correctly. So, so nothing bad happens. So, this is the positive. I marked it with the blue and then the knot. And this is the negative. On most adapters, it does matter, and some do not. So, to start off with, you also need a Phillips head screwdriver for the screws. So, you will get the negative and put it into your pull station. I just have to unscrew it a little bit so my wire can go under. I'm using my Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, I, just want, I don't want to make sure the wire comes out. Okay, now we will stick your negative underneath. Also, for your pull stations, it does not matter where you put which. Like, there's a white and black, all right? It does not matter where you put each wire. You can put a negative here and a negative here. These two slots are not in use. Only these two are for the 278B. It can be, you can do multiple pulsations, multiple alarms, but just using one pulsation and one notification appliance. All right, now you get your negative one of the pulse station. We got that done off camera because I can't do it while holding my camera. I might do another one like this, another video with a tripod. My tripod is too big for this, so yeah. Now, to the back of your notification appliance. So now, the positive and negative does matter in this. But the positive does not, but for this it does. Okay, so, here is your positive. The positive of your transformer will actually go, the positive of your transformer goes in the positive of your alarm. So now you're gonna loosen the screw and slide your underwire and tighten it in. And tighten it good so it doesn't come out and make a short circuit. So, your transformer positive, it goes into your a fire alarm. For some reason, it won't stay still. Okay, now that's in. Oops. All right, now I'm getting it to go in. Sorry about the review being a little bit bad. Because I don't have a tripod. So, I'm putting my camera on for a second so I tighten the screw. All right. Now you got your positive going in. So here's how it is going right now. The negative goes to your pull station. It's not, it's all a bit loose. You can see that. But it does stay on. Next, making sure it's open because I can't reset it with my camera. Now, the positive, the negative goes into the pull station, the positive goes here. The next thing you want to do is attach another wire to the pull station. Your other wire goes to the other screw. And I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so you got your wire attached to the other terminal. Now, what you want to do is you run this wire to the negative of your alarm. So, you will unscrew this. And you will attach that wire into the screw. And about the voltage, you have to use the correct voltage for your alarms. Any voltage in between 12 to 24 will work. The alarm I'm using is the ESC Genesis, as I already said. This works on 9 volts too. But some alarms, it depends what alarm you're using. Some of won't work on that. For example, a 7002T, that's not going to work on 12 volts. But it can work on a voltage in between 18 and 27. But for now... Let's do mind the voltage. Let's do this. So, you got everything correct. Let's make sure. So, your negative from the transformer goes to the pull station. And the positive goes right over here. As you can see, the negative goes here. And the alarm to the pull station. Now, we got everything wired up. We will actually test it to make sure I did it correct. I hope I did it correctly. My transformer is 15 volt DC. Um. So, yeah. You can also use batteries. I'm using a transformer. For this so i can do it easily so yeah that's how you wire it i will test it by the way so you guys can know before you get into the testing with the voltage as i already said it depends if your alarm it depends what alarm you're using i'm using a genesis since it works in 12 or 9 volts so yeah now we'll plug this in and turn our cord on and we'll plug this it's plugged in we're gonna pull it on and see if it works you see the strobe is now flashing. So that is how you wire a pull station to a file notification appliance. Now you can see 
it is wired and now it's fully working and functional. So, yep, now it works. Tripod has been a little bit bad because of my no tripod. But I'll do it better next time. So the strobe is flashing. Turn this off. So yeah, that is how to wire a pull station to a notification appliance. Thank you for watching, guys. If this is helpful, helpful, make sure you like to subscribe. All right, let's put it in one more time. This is so satisfying to pull. Okay, let's just lift it up. So satisfying to do that pull thing. Anyways, that is all for the video. By the way, this is an easier way to do it without doing it with a panel. You will not need a panel for this. You just need a transformer, wires, voltation, a notification appliance, and screwdriver. And then you're done. And be careful with this because you don't never do it when it's plugged in. Because then you're going to make a short circuit. You don't want that to actually happen. So yeah, always be careful. Do it when it's always unplugged. That's what I always do. One time I did what I was plugged in, there was a short circuit. I know better now. That was like two years ago. So yeah. Yep. Alright, that's all for the video. Goodbye.